The Sunday School lesson for July 23rd, 2023 is Weeds Among the Wheat. Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 through 30 and verses 36 through 43. Welcome to my channel. This is the agenda. I will share the backstory, read the lesson text, and offer a brief lesson summary. After watching this video, if it is of any value to you, please subscribe. Thank you so much in advance for your support. The backstory. Let's begin. The backstory begins with Matthew chapter 13, verses 1 through 3a. On a day when Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake, such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat in it while all the people stood on the shore. Then he told them many things in parables. He told them the parable of the sower and so here is an illustration of the parable of the sower meaning as told in Matthew chapter 13 verses 18 through 23. Listen then to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is a seed sown along the path. The seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Verse 24, Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. Verse 25, but while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. Verse 26, when the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. Verse 27, the owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? Verse 28, an enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, do you want us to go and pull them up? Verse 29, no, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. Verse 30, let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters first, Collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. Verse 36. Then he left the crowd and went into the house. His disciples came to him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. Verse 37. He answered, the one who sowed the good seed is the son of man. Verses 38 through 39. The field is the world, and the good seed stands for the people of the kingdom. The weeds are the people of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Verse 40. As the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire, so it will be 
at the end of the age. Verse 41, the seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. Verse 42, they will throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Verse 43, then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Whoever has ears, let them hear. The parable of the weeds is self-explanatory and does not bear any further explanation or summary. Thank you so much for watching. Join me soon for the next backstory of the Sunday School lesson. Stay safe and may God bless.